atrial septal defect treatment. What does having an atrial septal defect mean for you? The first two videos explained what an ASD is and the changes that occur in the heart if an ASD is present. This video will focus on treatment. How does transcatheter atrial septal defect closure work? Traditionally, closure of atrial septal defects was done through open heart surgery. Open heart surgery was previously considered the gold standard. There is data on long-term outcomes available and it produces excellent results in selected patients. However, it requires a longer recovery time and like all cardiac surgery, there are risks. Transcatheter atrial septal defect closure is a minimally invasive procedure. It only requires two, two to three millimeter incisions in the leg. It is a relatively short procedure, usually under 40 minutes, and has a quicker recovery time with same day ambulation and next morning discharge from the hospital. Both surgery and transcatheter atrial septal defect closure have risks and benefits that your doctor will discuss in detail. Transcatheter ASD closure is presently the way most atrial septal defects are closed. Certain types of atrial septal defects cannot undergo transcatheter closure. While we continue to work on solutions for this problem, these patients will still require surgery. Each treatment has risks and benefits and our team of experts will tailor your treatment to your needs. In this video, we briefly explain how transcatheter closure of your ASD will work. As it was described, the procedure is minimally invasive and will only require two 2 millimeter incisions to be made in your body. A miniature ultrasound probe called ICE or intracardiac echo will be advanced into your right atrium and this will be used to monitor the procedure. Then a catheter, a thin hollow tube is inserted through your leg and will be advanced to your heart through the vein system. We will first measure the pressures in your heart and take a few blood samples to measure the oxygen concentration in different parts of the heart. We will then cross over the atrial septal defect and place a catheter in the left atrium. We will then use a floppy soft balloon to cross over your hole. When this balloon is inflated, it will mold itself to the internal diameter of your atrial septal defect and allow us to measure it. An appropriately sized device will then be selected and advanced up to your heart where it will be deployed through a catheter. When the device is in position, we will evaluate it carefully with ice. Finally, the device will be released, the catheter will be removed, and the incision will be closed, completing your procedure. If all is well, you will be discharged from the hospital the next morning after an echocardiogram. This is not the type of ultrasound you have to swallow, don't worry. Your cardiologist will provide full written guidelines in terms of activity limitations and medications we'd like you to take. It is important to follow these guidelines and adhere to the prescriptions. A follow-up appointment will be scheduled three to four months post-procedure to ensure a safe and smooth recovery.